Okay, everyone, let's see if we can change some minds today. Uh, Matt, we have Marjorie Taylor Greene making the news again. Shocker. Uh, this time because last month she was just blatantly anti-Semitic, which isn't really different than like every other month she's been in Congress. But this time she actually got some blowback from like the GOP and uh, actually had to apologize. Really? That That's what's incredible. Sorry to interrupt, Heidi, because she's been kind of compared to like the well, the female Trump in some ways, right? And we, it's weird to see a, a this was a real, like it sounded like a real apology too, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and read it. So this is so what this she's is... what she's apologizing for. So she said, uh, this is like on like, I think it was called American First. Like it was a podcast, like a super conservative podcast. Um, and she said, you know, we can look back at a time in history where people were told to wear a gold star and they were definitely treated like second class citizens, so much so that they were put in trains and taken to gas chambers and Nazi Germany. Now, at this point, she's not, nothing she has said is factually inaccurate. It's 100 percent like right on. But she then follows up with and this is exactly the type of abuse that Nancy Pelosi is is talking about when she was referencing mask mandates, because in Congress, they still have to wear mask because they're in a closed area and what was going on during all of this people getting mm -hmm. shit for being anti-semitic for their criticisms of israel's conduct toward the palestinian people mm -hmm. but their same tribe has this going on right and this is not a uncommon view it's rare ish right this is probably about 10 to 10 percent of them man this is not like but what's crazy go ahead shy no, I was just going to say, and like, for the record, um, I don't have a graphic for this, but um, you can Google it, people, if you don't believe me, um, and, which I encourage, actually, because we should all be doing our own research. Like, don't just take my word for it. Like, do your own research. Um, but last month, she also said that, uh, you know, Nazis were the Nationalist Socialist Party, like the Democrats are the Nationalist Social Socialist Party. So she's trying to create a narrative that, like, I, well, I can never say Nazis are good. And the, like, you all know Nazis were super bad. So what if I just make you also think that Democrats are Nazis? That's always their thing. They always call them the Nazis, like the socialists, right? They're like, you know, Nazis were the socialists, right? And it's like, oh, hey, hey. Yeah. So I so we just got to bypass these conversations, like um, retro waves called it, like this whole, like, like, by, like she, she called it out, man, like this whole, like, push for bipartisanship with people like this. No, that's insanity. Like it's actual insanity. Like you, if you think you can work with that, you are that then in some fashion. Like so, no. Like that's not something we can work with. And like we're too, like we're too willing to concede space to shit in this society. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, we need to switch the people out that are in government, not try to work with them. Like they're they failed. They've literally failed every single one of them even i don't i don't care what party they are they've all failed yeah no 100 percent. and um yeah i'm like i'm not biased like honestly i'm like if you're just not for the people like you need to be primaried and you need to lose your re-election and um she's not for the people like at all but here's the crazy part let's read that apology because i was like mind blown i was like i was fucking mind blown and i don't know what to make of it like i don't was the pushback that is this was she doing and here's my first thought is she doing this so it makes it easier for them to go at uh, representative omar oh i i don't i yeah i don't know what her um like well, to kevin, I, to kevin yeah, mccarthy go mcconnell go like, hey yo crazy pants go apologize so we can go after them again because like they love to play the you know we have the extremist card but like here is a clear fucking extremist no matter who you are right everyone's like oh this is crazy um so maybe there's there maybe this is signs that she's actually been reined in some to some degree by a McCarthy and McConnell. The, the people in the comments are um, I just kind of wanted to add in that they're also saying that you know um, the right wing people and Republicans are more than comfortable having white supremacists and Nazis hang out with them. A few different comments on that, and uh, Carnage also noted that um, Green raises a lot of money for the party. 
Yeah, that's why the Dems keep Pelosi around. It's not because the people of like San Francisco are like, just like things couldn't be better. I'm like, don't you guys have like a horrible homeless problem? And just like so many, I don't even know where to, like the list of things of why it's problematic that Nancy Pelosi is still making decisions. But yeah, if you bring in the money, they like keeping those people around. And she's she's like this new face that is um, taking advantage of people who want Trump to still be around. And she's milking them for all that they can get. And that's feeding the GOP's funds. Yeah. Yeah. My, mindful skeptics, voice 100%. She's, she's yeah, she's the, uh, like, if, if any QAnon has money, she's the one who can then funnel it out of them. Well, to that point, Hostiles, let's read it real quick. I've made a mistake and it's really bothered me for a couple of weeks now. There's nothing comparable to the Holocaust. I know those words I stated were hurtful. And for that, I'm very sorry. I know. Yeah, that does like, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, man. It's, here's the thing, like coming from her, like that might be as good as it can possibly get. Um, I don't know. Do we think it's like, it's? I don't even know if it's like my place to like judge if it's genuine or not, but I can't help but find myself wondering, honestly. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, like, I don't think it, the statement, I don't think ever bothered her. Anyone who's like, that, they're, they're just like Nazis or they're, that's just like the Holocaust. Like those people don't really understand the gravity of what a Nazi was and what the Holocaust was. So of course they don't really understand whether or not it's really comparable. I think it's just that, like I said, she had a lot of blowback from like the GOP themselves. So if like, you know, you're not playing your part, they're not gonna keep you around. So I think it's just more like saving face.